in Saquon Barkley's return to MetLife Stadium, the New York Giants get throttled. They get blown out, and they had players quit, like Deontay Banks. You should be embarrassed, Deontay Banks. Second time this year you've quit. I- I've got no patience for that. You're watching Giants now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. For the first time, Daniel Jones was benched by Brian Dable going into that fourth quarter. Drew Locke put together two drives, a drop by Jalen Hyatt. He then got hurt on the play. Brian Dable did just tell the media that Daniel Jones is the quarterback going forward, but my question to you is who should be the quarterback? If you were the head coach of this football team, who would you have under center going to play the Pittsburgh Steelers on Monday Night Football? Type 8 for Daniel Jones, type 2 for Drew Locke. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. This one hurts. This is a tough loss for the New York Giants. And you saw the impact that Andrew Thomas or the whole of Andrew Thomas had. Joshua Zudu had a really bad game, especially in the first half. And then the Giants offensive line as a whole, they got whooped. Um, Daniel Jones, I think, was sacked five times in the first half. Drew Locke had a strip sack. Um, They couldn't block. They looked pitiful. And the offense was a joke yet again. He scored three points. He scored seven points last week. You're averaging five and a half points over the last two weeks. Um, Is it all Daniel Jones' fault? No. Did Wandale Robinson drop passes? Yes. Did Darius Slayton not catch the ball over the middle? That was a bad throw by Daniel Jones? Yes. Could the Giants establish a run game? No. But it's just the same song, same dance, over and over and over again. I feel like we're stuck in the mud with Daniel Jones, and it's quicksand, and it's getting worse and worse by the second. Look, is it his fault? 100% no, but he deserves a lot of the blame as well. That's the nature of playing quarterback. When you lose, you get the blame. When you win, they get the praise. It's the nature of the business. It's the nature of the position. And at the end of the day, when you account for taking up the second most salary cap space of any quarterback this year, any NFL player. There is one player in this league that is taking up more of their team salary cap than Daniel Jones. You go are going to deserve blame. Like, it, it's, it's 2025. They are begging teams to score points, and the Giants can't do it. Daniel Jones goes another game with no touchdown at MetLife Stadium. I know he threw one to Theo Johnson. But, man, if you could only throw one and you can't overcome adversity, we're just, we're just back to where we were with, with Daniel Jones. Um, look, I know we were booing Saquon Barkley. I think the Giants should have got booed off the field today. That includes Daniel Jones. That includes the offensive line. That includes Wandale Robinson. The only people I don't think that should have been booed was the Giants' D-line. Deontay Banks quit again. No respect for him. Um, you quit on your teammates. Brian Burns is out there hurt, playing his ass off, and you quit. You slapped him in the face. So I don't give a shit about you, Brian Burns. I worry about myself more than you. Selfish act again by Deontay Banks. Um, He did it against the Cowboys. Maybe that's who he is. Maybe he's just not a good football player, and he's a lousy teammate. Because I have no, I have no respect for someone that's willing to quit on their team like he did again today. Um... If you haven't seen the play, it's on my Twitter. He could have tackled um, Jalen Hurts, and he just stopped. He just stopped. Jalen Hurts picked up 10 more yards. Oh, and then, and then Saquon Barkley comes and dominates. Dominates the game. Whether you think um, they should have resigned him, whether you think that they, they made the right move, the game's not over just until it's triple zeros. And the fact that you would defend Deontay Banks doing that, that's embarrassing for you. It's embarrassing for me. Um, look, whether you think Daniel Jones should have, or Saquon Barkley should have stayed, should have, whatever it was, today proved that the Giants made the wrong decision. I think Saquon Barkley had more total yards than the entire New York Giants today. Uh, Saquon Barkley had over 170 rushing yards. And, yeah, you had 119 yards of total offense. 
119 yards of total offense. Um, John Mayer, you're not getting much sleep tonight, buddy. Take some NyQuil because you're not going to get much sleep. This is wrong. Um, or is that supposed to, I don't know what that's supposed to say. This is, this is never a formula for winning football games. This is never a formula for winning football games. Um, you didn't even turn the ball over. <laughs> this is the gut punch of a game. This is the gut punch of a game. Um, look, Brian Dable saying Daniel Jones is going to be the quarterback next week. I would move on. Um, there's no point to play Daniel Jones anymore. He's not going to be on your team next year. There's an injury guarantee in his contract, and we're calling QB draws. Like, is Daniel Jones better than Drew Locke? Maybe, but try something new. You owe it to your team to try something new. Maybe not Deontay Banks because he quit on your team again. But Brian Burns deserves it, and Dexter Lawrence deserves it. We'll talk more about Dexter Lawrence and how special he is and how much the Giants are wasting his Hall of Fame career. But first, I got to give a major shout out to today's sponsor, Game Time. If you're looking for tickets to go to an NBA, NFL, college football, concert, theater event, comedy show, get your tickets at Game Time. You get the best seats for the lowest prices guaranteed. Prices drop as the event gets closer, and you're going to get the best seat for the lowest price guaranteed. Guaranteed. You get last minute tickets and flash deals. You get to see your seat view in the app and you get to access your tickets inside of the app. It's super user friendly. It's easy to navigate. And if you use these two features, the all in pricing and the game time picks feature, you're going to get the best deal. All in pricing, price you see is the price you pay. No hidden fees. When you get to check out, the price doesn't spike up. And then the uh, game time picks, it makes it that much more easy to go watch your favorite team play. Download the app, create an account, use the promo code chat sports, and you're going to get $20 off your first purchase where terms do apply. What time is it? It's game time. I wish it was game time for the Giants offense, but they just continue to not score points. Uh, uh, the Eagles completed 10 passes today for 69 yards, and they beat you by 25 points. Uh, they ran the ball for 270 yards. So what, Gainwell had like 100 yards too? Oh, man. Yeah, I would um, – Brian Dable owes it to his team to try something new at quarterback. Um, Brian Dable owes it to his team to try something new at quarterback. It, it, you're, you're just stuck in the mud. 14 completions for 99 yards. One yard pass. Inaccurate throw. Sack. That was the story of today's game. And, man, I don't see it getting better. I really don't. Especially for Daniel Jones and the offense. Like, we keep on trying to manipulate the game in a way that would help this team score points, but you're doing it in ways that don't yield explosive plays. It's throw the ball short of the sticks. Hopefully a receiver makes a man miss. Try to throw the ball deep. You overthrow Malik Neighbors again today. He was in triple coverage. Um, 99 yards on 14 completions. Um, I know everyone's going to say all you do is blame Daniel Jones. Everyone deserves a, hand, a part of this blame. Everyone gets a piece of blame pie today. But the guy who makes the most money and plays the most important position and the guy that touches the football every play and that's been this team's quarterback going on for five-plus years and the same results keep happening, yeah, he's going to be he's gonna be within the crosshairs. I would move on. Um, if I was the head coach, it's not because I think that Drew Locke is better than Daniel Jones. This team needs life. This team needs a spark. Your offense is anemic. They are allergic to scoring points. You know, Jones doesn't. We are entering week eight. It is the halfway point of the season. Daniel Jones has not thrown a touchdown at MetLife Stadium. I don't care if one got taken off of the board of Theo Johnson. If all you can say is the only touchdown he threw got called back, then do it again. Overcome adversity one time. I mean, I think that this, and I, I, I don't even know how I haven't said this yet. What about the before the half? What about before the half? 
He had the ball on the 14-yard line with nine seconds left on third down, and you opt to kick the field goal because you don't trust Daniel Jones to manage the game. Daniel Jones isn't a game winner. He's a game manager, and he doesn't even manage the game. He also, on that drive, cost you a timeout, as did Malik Neighbors going into the half. He runs out of bounds on second and 10, one yard short of the sticks. Daniel Jones, short of the sticks. Third and one, but he ran out of bounds. So then you have to run a QB sneak, and then you have to call a timeout. Whereas if you just get the first down, you have that timeout in your back pocket. Then you throw a stop route to Malik Neighbors on the right side, and then he runs the opposite way of running out of bounds. Giants just didn't look like a team that knew what they were doing today. And you know what? I haven't really said anything about Brian Dable, but um, man, I, 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 Brian Dable got out coached today. He's having to do it left-handed and call plays. I don't know, man. I, I'm just speechless. Uh, I'm trying to come up with <laughs> something. I don't know. It's the same song and dance. It's the same song and dance. We did this after the Vikings game. We did this after the Cowboys game. We did this after every game they've lost this year. They lose games the same exact way. Just not good enough on offense. Oh, if you want to talk about it more, you can hit me up on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram at Marshall Green underscore. Um, as Brian Dable was asked, you haven't been able to create explosive plays with Daniel Jones in three years. What gives you confidence that he can do it? He says, we have guys around him that can create explosive plays. We'll go back to the drawing board and do the very best we can. Color in between the lines, Daniel. Do the best you can. What was the quote this week? He's trying his best to be the best he can. Hold my hand while you walk across the street. Hold my hand in between the lines, Daniel. The Giants' longest play over the last two games, 15 yards. Um, we'll close out with this stat right here as I pull it up real quick. Since 2000, only seven teams have won a game where their offense's longest play gained 15 yards or less. Giants again did that today. The percentage of teams that have won games since 2000, 0.1. You will never be a good football team with Daniel Jones.